her vote? No. But fucker, I, I can't let you go. Not now. Not, not after we're so close to getting back. One of us never left. I mean, I'm, I'm here now, and I am not going anywhere, and I can see our future. I know you can see it, too. I mean, this whole... The whole Kendall thing is insane. The Kendall thing is a baby. A baby boy who was supposed to be mine. My child to love and raise, to watch grow and to hold. It was my future, and it's gone. We can make it work. I mean, my loving husband just stabbed me in the heart, and best friend stabbed me in the back. My heart is out of business. Forget me. I'm already gone. Like how you are. Last place I want to be is here. You don't have to run, really. That, that's not who you are. You know who I am. Not since you died. Everything changed that night. I changed. I do know you, Greenlee. I know your heart. Uh, tell yourself whatever you want. That night at the boathouse. Remember you, me, the man in the moon. You felt it then, Greenlee. I know you did it. And you fought it. And you fought it. You get it? The world blew up in my face. Again. Every teeny tiny bit of trust I had has been burned out of me. And you know what? I am so glad. It's so much easier. No more hope. No more wondering. No more wishing or dreaming. I'm done. When my world blew up on me, you begged me to trust you, and I couldn't. I, I was so sure that, that I was so messed up that I would drag you down with me. I couldn't hold on to the very best thing that has ever happened to me. I couldn't, I couldn't hold on to you. Please, please don't let go. You're so much smarter than I was. Please, Queen, please let me help you. You want me to let you help, even when you couldn't let me help you? Yes. Don't make the same mistakes that I made. So I should hang on to you, the man who threw me away and never looked back, the man who let me grieve over and over again and that just suddenly just popped back into my life. You can't do it alone, Greenlee. You don't have to do it alone. You're confusing me with someone who would ride a bike over a cliff. You're running. You're running the same way that I ran. I'm not self-destructive, and I'm a whole lot smarter than I was just a few days ago. Smarter than when I let you rip my heart to pieces. Smarter than when I let Kendall turn my baby dream into a Wait, nightmare. Kendall. Yeah, kind of hard. She's not here. Cal, she isn't. She's getting ready to birth your baby. Her baby, not mine. She is about you, and it's about me. I am not the man that abandoned you. Really, I'm not. I've grown. I've changed. I have. I know what I want. I know what, what my heart wants. I don't hope that we can make it. I know that we can make it. And if you're afraid, if you're afraid, then I'm strong enough for both of us, Greenlee. And, and if you're not sure, then, then I have no doubt. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to turn. Then you can lean on me, please, Greenlee. I love you more than I have ever loved you. We have our love is a gift. If you need something to trust, if you need something to hold on to, hold on to that believe in that. I swear on my love for you that I will never, ever leave you again. Our love. I Kendall took my hand and she looked at me with love in her eyes and she offered your child as a gift. Well, I learned the hard way. Gifts cost. I will do anything, anything to regain your trust. Anything is a big word. You name it, consider it done. I used to believe you were magic. We were magic. Diana, my kiddo and the green butterfly. Nothing but fiction of us. No, green, no. Nothing could stop us, and, and we can have that again. We can. You just have to give me the chance to prove it to you. I need magic more right now than anything. Do you have any superpowers? You got a magic Dakota ring up your sleeve or a magic wand to bring back what I've lost? Your trust? Your hope? My babies, Ryan. The two little babies that I loved, the one that I carried and I dreamed about and I lost, and the one that was Kendall's gift to me. I didn't carry that baby, but I loved and I dreamed about it just the same. You want to help? You want me to help bring back my babies? Can you do that? No, I can't. I can't. I can't. But what I can do and what I will do, I will have my vasectomy reversed. You reversed your procedure? Why? You don't want a child. I want you. 
more than more than anything else in the entire world. And if there's a chance that you still will have my baby, I know that's a very big if. But if there's even the slightest chance, I will go tomorrow morning and make the appointment. I can't carry a child. You know that. Is that why you're offering? Make this grand gesture because I can't keep my end of the deal? We'll get a surrogate. We'll get a surrogate. Just some, somebody that we don't know, a stranger. Somebody that we can pay. We can have a family. Greenland. We can't do this. This is possible. Pay a stranger? And I, I don't need you to decide right now. I'm not asking for that. Not now, not, not a month from now, not even, not even a year from now. I just want you to have an open mind about us, about our future. I will do that for you. I will reverse the vasectomy. Take it as, take it as a show of, of my love for you, as, as my faith in us. Will you agree with me you do that? Can you? You want me to do this again? Trust you, trust some woman to carry our child, trust the doctor? I'm not asking for instant trust. I'm not asking for any promises. Just a, just a maybe, someday kind of a thing. Just don't slam the door. Like you slam the door on us? With your fake death like Kendall? Slam the door on my baby? I can't, I can't change that, Greenlight. I can't change the past. I can't change the pain that I caused you. But I'm going to do everything that I possibly can for our, our future. Just tell me that we have a chance. I can't breathe. How much more am I supposed to take? Hit it after hit it after hit it. Never end. It could end right now. Everything in me is playing. Run. Go. As fast as I can. As far as I can. You want to run? I'll go with you. I will. Tonight. Let's go. Leave tonight. Just the two of us. We've done it before. Why not do it again? Jonathan. Aaron. Your baby on the way. I can keep in touch with, with, with my brother and my sister. I can keep calling and make sure that they're taken care of. What about Kendall's baby? I don't know. It's not still sleeping. We can find a way to deal with the green lane. I know we can. We can make sense of it. Just say the word, please, and we can make it happen. I don't think it's a good idea. But it's not a bad idea. It's not. You and me. We just, we've lost so much time. I don't want to lose another second, Greenlee. I don't want to share you with anyone. I don't want to, I want to completely devote myself to you with no distractions. I want to make you realize how much you mean to me. I want to make up to you what I've done. We can travel and we can plan our future. I will spend every second of every day proving to you how, how much you mean to me. How much I love you.